Hi students, this is Mr. Yao. In this video, I'm going to talk about question 12 and 15 in your 2.4 assignment. They're very similar to the examples that we talked about in class with a little bit difference. So you're still calculating the, uh, the distance. So let me write the formula on the top. Distance equals speed times time. You're still using the same formula. It's just in the examples we talked about in class, the two distances are the same, and these two examples are slightly different. So, 12. The cyclists, 112 miles apart, start riding toward each other at the same time. One cycles uh, three times as fast as the other. If they meet four hours later, what is the speed of the faster cyclist? Even though it says faster cyclist, doesn't mean you have to set that as your x. Because the faster one, if you set it as an x, the other one would be the slower one, so you're going to have a fraction. So instead, we can say the slower cyclist, let's say the slower cyclist has a speed of s. And that would mean the faster one actually has a speed of 3s, because it's 3 times as fast. So that means 3 times s. Okay, And then, they are 112 miles apart. So let's say on the left side, it's your slower one. And on the right side is your faster one. Okay, They're driving towards each other. Of course, after the four hours, the slower one is going to drive less than the faster one. So let's say they meet like right here. So this is how far the slower one actually drove. And in that process, he drove four hours. And the speed is S. And for the faster cyclist, it's also 4 hours, but the speed is 3s. So as you can see, it's not that they drove the same distance that you set the distance equal to each other anymore. It's all together, their distance is 112 miles. So that's where things are a bit different. So instead of setting the distance equal to each other, you're going to add their distances together to equal 112. So for the slower cyclist, 4 hours and uh, the speed being s, he drove 4 s, 4 times s. For the faster one, it would be 4 hours times 3 s. All together, that equals to 112. Okay, so now it's 4 s plus 12 s, that equals to 112. So 16 s equals 112 divided by 16, s equals 7. And it's seven miles per hour. But hold on, the question is asking for the faster cyclist. So even though we found s, we're not fully done because this is the slower one. For the faster one, three s would be three times the seven, which is twenty-one miles per hour. So that means the faster cyclist cycles at twenty-one miles. That is question 12. So a little bit different, but you can see you are still calculating the distance separately. And then in this case, instead of setting the two distances together equal to each other, we're just adding them together to equal 112. That's question number 12. Now question 15. Paul and Bailey are traveling towards each other from points that are 300 miles, uh, 365 miles apart. So it's a very similar situation as the previous one. If Bailey is traveling one mile per hour faster than uh, Paul, and they meet at after five hours, how fast was uh, each traveling? So we have Paul and Bailey. Bailey is the one that's traveling faster, so I'm going to actually set Paul to be our normal speed. And Bailey, in that case, since Bailey is faster, it will be S plus 1. Okay, so let's set it up. Paul, let's say Paul is on the left side. Let's say Bailey is on the right side. Well, Bailey is driving faster, which means Bailey is going to drive a bit more. So it's like a bit towards the left from the midpoint. Okay, so for Paul, five hours. And the speed is S. For Bailey, it's also five hours. The speed is S plus one. Okay, and altogether, since they were 365 miles apart, so that means altogether the distances add up to 365 miles. So let's set up the equation. To calculate Paul's distance is going to be 5 times s. 
to calculate Bailey's distance is going to be 5 times s plus 1. And they all together add up to 365. So we have 5s plus 5s plus 5 equals 365, which means 10s equals, so 5x and 5s together is a 10s. I'm also going to subtract the 5 from the other side already, 360. So divide both sides by a 10, s is 36 miles per hour. So let's pause right there because we're not fully done. The question is asking how fast was each traveling. So if s is 36, then s plus 1 would have to be 36 plus 1, which is 37 miles per hour. So Paul travels at 36 miles per hour, and Bailey travels at 37 miles per hour. And that is question 15. So these two are very similar. Just instead of setting the distances equal to each other, you're going to need to add the distances together to equal a total of, of miles apart. And that'll be everything for 12 and 15. Thank you.